number of high street shops going into administration between April and June. The accountancy firm Price Waterhouse Coopers says the number of retail collapses were more than 10% higher than in the same period last year. Well, I've been talking to Yorkshire retail expert Kate Hardcastle. I'm not surprised. I mean, we're very close to the high street and retailers, so we've got a good heartbeat of what's happening out there. Some of it obviously linked to um, a very challenging time that's been going on indefinitely. Some of it is relevant because it's a short period to the bad weather, etc. But but mainly, this is generally the effect. This is what's happening on the high street, and this is why we've been running the free-to-access retail clinics to try and help. Now, the Pricewaterhouse Cooper figures are for the UK. Is it the same picture in Yorkshire? We have a slightly worse challenge in the north regards our high street um, you tend to find that shop vacancies are higher here and um, we're very aware of that I mean our clients are all over the world but for me my hometown is Yorkshire I'm very very proud of it and I want to do everything we can a lot of it is linked to rents and rates um, and, and challenges that the retailers must work together and also with their chambers of commerce and with their local councils to try and improve but they have to become a destination they have to understand that retailing and buying habits are different now than they ever have been and you've got to react to that and accommodate that and that's why we're trying to help with some advice to turn it around too. The shops that are surviving obviously seem to be getting it right. What can be learnt from them? Well, we've been around, and we, I'm in America right now, and we, we constantly travel the world to look at examples of retailing done excellently and try and understand what patterns and algorithms are there so we can try and get that repeated. But if you take a village like Lindley in Huddersfield, you've got a, almost a centre of excellence there. And, you know, I've taken BBC Cruise there before because I think it's wonderful. The retailers work together. They fully understand their offering. They're not trying to compete with the mass market or the volume. Their shops are beautiful. Beautiful. They've got great offers. They're complementary to each other. They run events together. The high street is a destination to go to. Great customer service, great products that might not be able to be found in larger uh, retail stores. And they know that they're not an out-of-town shopping centre or park, so they've got to compete in their own way, which is more of a visiting place, a place for community. Is it customer service as well? The local stores where you used to get that extra customer service, is that the key to the whole thing? I think customer service is at the heart of everything. If you don't put your customers right at the heart and understand what you're going to do, for in, we run the awards, the Customer at the Heart Awards, just for this. We've got 14 independent retailers that won. A lot are in Yorkshire. And if you look at what they've done brilliantly, they have understood their offer. They offer service to an impeccable level and they are there as passionate ambassadors of what you've been doing. So if you're a, a, a you know, bread maker and you are passionate about it and you've been doing it for many years throughout your family, that's exactly what the consumer wants to know why would I buy from you what are you going to do differently how can you serve me differently and on the, on the high street you've got a tale of two cities you've got people doing it absolutely brilliantly they know that they need to do this they know this is a, a massive selling point ahead of a, a large supermarket or a chain that doesn't make you feel like you cared for and they excel at it and then you've got some people who don't even think about their opening times they don't think when the customers are going to be passing the door and they just feel very challenged so they feel down and they don't, they don't put a good retail exuberance out there and therefore people are not going to want to shop there Yorkshire retail expert Kate Harcastle talking to me earlier 